This is chapter nine of、uh, Barlow and Duran's Abnormal Psychology Textbook Seventh Edition. The chapter is about physical disorders and health psychology. To begin with, psychosomatic or psychophysiological disorders are physiological factors that affect somatic or physical function. Behavioral medicine is the knowledge from behavioral sciences that is applied in prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of medical illnesses. It includes psychologists, physicians, and other health professionals,、um, and this is meant to be a multidisciplinary approach. Health psychology is a subfield of behavioral medicine. It is not disciplinary, whereby psychological factors are studied in promotion and there's a maintenance of、uh, health of good health. This involves the recommendation of improvements for health care systems. General adaptation syndrome or GAS. If stress is too intense for individuals and long-lasting, the individual enters a stage of exhaustion, and、uh, this causes the body to suffer permanent,、uh, to suffer permanently, and eventually bring about death. Stress is this activation of the sympathetic nervous system, which is、um, a subsect of the autonomic nervous system, and this. Spurs on the fight or flight response, which increases strength and mentality. It activates the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal cortical、um, axis or HPA, and this increases corticotropin releasing factor that produces chronic cortisol secretion by adrenal glands.、Uh, an excess can result in in a glucocorticoid cascade, which kills nerve cells and results in hippocampal degeneration. So think about cell apoptosis, and、um, well, this is kind of related to things like、uh, nerve degeneration, motor neuron disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, since、um, it leads to neuronal cell death. Self-efficacy, according to created by Benjura, is a sense of control or confidence that can help cope with these、uh, challenges or stresses. And they can be used to differentiate between excitement and anxiety, since blood pressure levels are similar. The immune system helps to protect the body from foreign materials that may enter it, and it has two components or main parts. There is the humoral and the cellular、uh, immune system. Antigens. These serve as Identifiers for the immune system, and they help to eliminate foreign material, since they identify the Foreign material.、Uh, leukocytes are white blood cells. Macrophages, these are cells of the other cells of the immune system that surround identifiable antigens and destroy them. Lymphocytes,、uh, they are also other immune system cells, and they have two groups. There are B and T cells. B cells. Operate on the humoral part of the immune system, and they seek antigens in the blood to neutralize them. They produce immunoglobulins that act as antibodies, and these allow for vaccinations to occur. The immune system then is able to remember、um, the antigen, the specific tag. T cells operate in cellular parts of the immune system. They don't produce antibodies, but they are directly Uh, they directly destroy viral infection or cancer by killer T cells. Memory T cells were created to speed up future responses to the same antigen. There are also helper T cells, also known as T4, which enhance the immune system by signaling to the B cells to produce antibodies that tells T cells to destroy the threat.、Uh, moving along now, things that threaten the immune system include. Autoimmune disease, rheumatoid arthritis or AIDS, which、uh, there are twice as many T4 cells, and this causes the immune system to become overreactive and overactive and attack normal cells. So in a way, this is brought about not by other diseases, though other diseases in the end destroy the body since the human immune system has been compromised. But the primary cause of this disorder is the immune system attacking its own cells, 
the very cause of this dis disorder is due to human immunodeficiency virus or HIV which invades and um, it attacks helper T cells so the very mechanisms by which we need to defend ourselves are being attacked by this virus psychoneuroimmunology PNI is a psychological uh, psychological influences on neurological responding which is implicated in immune responses there are also AIDS related complex or ARC which is the diagnosis of AIDS and it is made when diseases like pneumocytis, pneumonia, cancer, dementia or wasting syndrome, body withering occurs. Psychosociology is oncology or is the study of cancer which uh, studies the psychosocial influences of cancer. Cardiovascular disease is anything negatively impacting the heart, blood vessels and complex control mechanisms for these. Uh, individuals have Individuals could get stroke or cerebral vascular accidents, CVAs. These are temporary blockages of the blood vessels that lead to brain rupture of blood vessels resulting in temporary or permanent brain damage. Hypertension is high blood pressure uh, whereby blood vessels constrict and this causes the heart to pump harder. There are essential hypertension, which is hypertension with no specific physiological cause. Coronary heart disease, CHD, is a blockage of the arteries that supply blood of the heart muscle, uh, myocardium, and stress was found to influence coronary heart disease. Friedman and Rosenman in 1959 and subsequently in 1974 discovered that there were two types of uh, behaviors. There are type A behaviors in which there's an excessive competitive drive or a sense of urgency which leads to impatience and lots of energy or angry outbursts. And there are type B behaviors which are when individuals are more relaxed, they are less concerned about deadlines and as a result they don't feel pressure or ambition to, uh, to meet the aforementioned deadlines which they're not even concerned about. Acute pain follows injury and this appears once injury heals or effectively or once uh, the individual is effectively treated, effectively treated of that injury. It has an average within a month. Chronic pain, it, it begins as acute episodes that does not decrease over time even when the injury has healed or effective treatments have been administered. Melzack and War in 1965 and subsequently in 1982 proposed the gate control theory of pain whereby nerve impulses from painful stimuli make their way to to the spinal column and to the brain. Dorsal horns act as a gate and transmit pain in small and large fibers. The brain sends signals back to the site and fear or anxiety is multiplied. Um, via the pain that comes about. Small fibers involve uh, A delta and C delta, while large fibers involve A beta. Uh, endogenous or natural are uh, opioids that exist internally. Furthermore, there are endorphins or enkephalins, which act as neurotransmitters and are distributed throughout the body. They can affect the tolerance and dependence that individuals have towards drugs, as well as eating disorders and stress reactions. Chronic fatigue syndrome, CFS, is uh, when individuals are constantly tired, having unrefreshing sleep, headache, muscle joint pain, as well as sore throat, reduction in previous levels of activities, etc. There's also a biofeedback. It's a process of making patients aware of their physiological functions that are not normally conscious, such as, for example, their heart rate, their blood pressure, muscle tension, uh, breathing rate, so on and so forth. And this could be due to thinking about uh, causes of these functions to occur. So like, 
For example, an individual realizes that their heart is suddenly pumping very fast, and then they realize it might be due to、um, them panicking to a situation, having fear, anxiety, or simply just because they've exercised prior. Finally, there is the relaxation response, which is when a person silently repeats a mantra or meditates to minimize distraction by closing their mind. Uh, closing their mind to the intrusive thoughts, intruding thoughts. In summary, I looked at physical disorders and health psychology, such as psychosomatic or psychophysiological disorders. I also looked at. We also looked at behavioral medicine, health psychology, general adaptation syndrome, stress, the hippocampal degeneration, self-efficacy, immune system antigens, leukocytes, macrophages, B cells, T cells, hyper T cells, autoimmune disease, rheumatoid arthritis or AIDS, human immunodeficiency virus or HIV, psychoneuroimaging, AIDS-related complex, psychosociology, cardiovascular disease, stroke, also known as cerebral vascular accidents, hypertension, essential hypertension, coronary heart disease, Friedman and Rosenman's type A and type B behavior, acute pain, chronic pain, gait control theory. Of pain, small fibers, large fibers, endogenous endorphins, and kefalins, chronic fatigue syndrome, biofeedback, and finally relaxed response.、Uh, join me next time, whereby I'll be talking about sexual dysfunctions in chapter ten. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Minimum field depleted. Ready to raise the mail. Private numbers, boys. You want a piece of me, boy? Arm dead ready. Roger that. What's that? Ready to raise the mail. Go, go, go. Your bags better be good. Minimum field depleted. Ready to raise the mail. Thank <laughs> you. 